A missing link is a term often thrown around by the media to describe fossils that are believed to bridge the evolutionary split between higher primates such as monkeys, apes, and humans. Evolution is neither a ladder nor a chain. If we must use a metaphor, a spider's web may be a better image, a twisted, chaotic mass of diverging lines and broken wisps that radiate outwards. We are not looking at a chain where we can clearly see what came before and what comes next, where there are clear stops along the track, and there are no clear branches that we can look to, in order to trace our progress forwards and our revolution upwards. Rather, everything is a blended mess, a cloudy soup of organisms that share, and do not share, certain traits at a number of different junctures. For example, lineages can change quickly or slowly, and it can move forwards or backwards. Case in point, additional segments can evolve, and this development may later reverse. In fact, we know such reversals have taken place. Take trilobites. These are creatures that are in the same clade as modern insects and crustaceans. They lived an amazingly long time ago. They are dated to more than 500 million years ago. Their fossil record clearly suggests that several lineages underwent increases and decreases and then once again increases in segment number over the course of millions of years. Evolution is more like spider web. It is not an escalator that ushers organisms ever upwards towards more complexity and development. There is no species that is more developed than another. In the end, the soupy mess of organisms that are alive today are all on the same level, having evolved to fit the specific ecological niches that they inhabit. In a few hundred generations, perhaps the environment will change and a previous trait will, once again, become desirable. If so, species will change and possibly revert. This is how evolution happens. As such, it is rather difficult to trace in a nice clear line.